This week, Joe Public United announced that it's the largest black-owned independent advertising agency in South Africa, with 60% of the company being acquired by black shareholders. This deal is a significant milestone in the transformation of the local advertising and marketing industry. The proudly South African communications group has worked with brands such as Nedbank, Clover, Chicken Licken, and South African breweries. Joining me now via Skype is Joe Public's executive creative director, Ali Sadyashana. Thank you very much uh, for your time this afternoon. So you, along with your two partners in Ikamba Lakusasa, excuse me, have all been with Joe Public for many years, and you're firmly entrenched in its corporate culture. So what inspired this jump into the driver's seat? Um, I think um, we are one of the largest independent agencies in South Africa. So we've been a South African agency now probably since 2009. And so what naturally happens in our field is that when you get to a certain place, you have usually international investors that want to invest in your company, usually buy about uh, a majority stake or sometimes even buy 100%. For ourselves, we, we are a company that believes in the growth of our people, in the growth of our clients and in the growth of our country. And therefore, with that in mind, we wanted to create a deal that was very different. And we wanted to actually create a deal that was a local deal where this company actually became majority black owned. And we thought that one of the best ways to do that is to create a structure that will bring in an investor, but also take into account um, the people that have been part of the management and part of what has built the company to what it is today. So how do you envision this new partnership impacting the company and its staff in the long run? So I think, um, we, you know, we've been very fortunate in the in the last couple of years in that uh, we really do have a good profile in the industry from a creative perspective. Um, I think we've got good clients. We've got a good list of clients. But I think for me, what something like this does is that it brings it brings expertise that were not a part of the management that we had in the context of our in our external investor that has come in so that it brings a lot of expertise from someone who's from outside of the industry and then i think even from outside i think it gives us a very very compelling argument when we go and seek out business because now we are majority black owned we are 60 percent uh, of, of, of us are, 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 are black people in the company, the founders. And, and what's important is that the people that have built the company up until here from a management point of view have worked together probably for the last 12 years. And that is the team that is going to spearhead us going forward and hopefully doubling the business in a couple of years' time. So the largest black-owned independent agency in South Africa, that's certainly a title to be proud of. But what kind of impact will this high-level transformation in the brand communication industry have on the kinds of campaigns we see coming out of Joe Public in the future? Well, I think um, that touches on a very important point to us. I think this transaction speaks very much with regards to an ownership uh, perspective, but what is most important uh, or just as important is how do we transform internally and, and throughout our structures. And I think that a, 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 a transaction like this really puts us in a, in, in a space where we can start to pick up the kind of business that can help us to really acquire more and more people of diverse backgrounds throughout the company at all levels. And that, in, in, in our belief, is what will make our product proudly South African as a proudly South African independent agency. One last quick question before I let you go. How has COVID-19 impacted uh, Joe Public and the work it's doing at the moment? Um, that's a great question. Um, I think we have felt this pandemic just like everybody else has. Uh, it's been extremely, extremely difficult for us. We've had to find new ways of adding value to our clients. And we've decided to put our clients first and our people first. And to that end, we've been very fortunate in that we haven't had to lay anybody off. We haven't had any major retrenchments. And I think for us, what is important now, more than chasing profits or anything else, is just to make sure that we are being there for our clients, we are giving them the support that they need, and, and we believe that that will pay off in the long run. And if we can do that for our clients and our people, um, we believe that we will weather the storm. Fabulous. Thanks so much for speaking to us. That was Executive Creative Director from Joe Public, Alisa Yeshana.